Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I knew that was gonna be the only way I could, you know, get in touch with you. You don't show up to fights no more, though. For real, you done? Yeah, I'm done. You retired? No, on some shit. I ain't even gonna hold you, right? So I was watching this live with Rocky, and she said she was fifty and up, cause she, you know, she had a little situation or whatever. But after that, I was like, damn. I really also think Kanye got the best hands in the city. You ever feel like silly, like all oh, my life I had to fight? Kinda, but like you don't want that label because then mm -hmm. that make everybody want to try you because mm -hmm. they want to get that label. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they want to be known for mm -hmm. beating the best up and yeah. stuff like that. So when being as though people put that on me a lot, that stigma that we have, and people just come from me just yeah. because like they just. Like, I remember, like, a while ago, Meek had, like, commented some, one of the basketball wives had posted me, mm -hmm. Malaysia, because, like, I had built a relationship with her, like, uh -huh. like, meeting her or whatever. And she had posted me on her page because she was, like, coming to my party here. And Meek commented under her, like, she got the best hands in the city, like, can't, yeah. can't nobody feel me And, like, that made a lot of people mad. Like, I had one girl make a whole video talking about tell me to put up a hundred thousand and oh to get you at a brand to, to fight me like i'm like <laughs> i don't even know you like yeah, but yeah it get weird with stuff like this i, I don't even want that like, yeah i always wondered like i, I go back to the malaysia thing like i seen you like comment i seen y'all had a picture and everything like i wanted to know like what was y'all relationship like was y'all cool like well how did it start oh i had seen her in a picture with dion mm -hmm. you know, dion is my folks yeah. whatever you know so I had told him, I was like, I like her, like, you know, tell her, you know, I want to meet her and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he actually told her. Yeah. And I told him, like, can you bring her to Philly to mm -hmm. the party? Because this we was having her for the first suit and tie party, like, the first one we ever had. And he brought her to the city and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. just, like, ever since then, like, we've been. Yeah, it'd be cool. Touch. Like, she did. I got her number and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so now, when you say that, like, do you mean, like, you, you wanted to meet her like on that type of time? No, or, like, I just told cool? him like I liked her, like watching her personality on TV. Oh, like, right. I liked her. Yeah, because we go, we gonna get into that later. That's why, I, <laughs> not, that's why I actually. No, like, not like that. <laughs> but, yeah. And listen, you know a lot of people in the city. Like you know a lot of people. And I'm talking about like credible people, even with Dion, like even like Ron and stuff like that. Uh, Rob, you know, rest in peace to him. Like you know a lot of. You know, heavy hitters in the city, me too, you know, just, how, how do you know, is that like a South Philly thing? So, like, I knew all these people before, like, the internet, mm -hmm. so, like, now that they, you know, of a bigger status, it's like, mm -hmm. that's just, you know, me, or that's just, you know. But Ryan, actually, me and Ryan, I kind of, like, brought him out into the, like, party promoting scene, yeah. because I had, back in the day, me and Rob used to do these events all the time, right? mm -hmm. We just decided to have a cookout and it was like on some Project X type of shit. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people was there. But I had posted it, I think it was even on MySpace or Facebook that I was having a cookout and Ryan hit me up. Mm -hmm. Didn't really know him, but I seen that like he'd be hang with a lot of boys. Yeah. He used to call Ryan used to be in his little group called Southwest Hit Squad. Uh huh. Yeah. So it was like a lot of them. Like yeah. I, I went to the page, I seen him in pictures like with a thousand niggas. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, I put him on, you know, he had a thousand niggas to put up to yeah, it. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm, we can do it. So, you know, ever since that, like, history was around. Like, mm -hmm. He just, like, took off with their party stuff. Like, everybody started coming to our events and stuff. In the beginning, we used to always do events together. Like, anything, like, they was on, like, I was on with it. But not, like, died down from the party and scene and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I just said fire. I, like, I know. <laughs> recently, yeah. I had, I'll I be, sometimes now, I'll mm -hmm. pop up and do something. But it's not how it used to be. Yeah. Like, and then I moved out of Philly, like, mm -hmm. so I had stopped doing all that, like, mm -hmm. bartending and everything I was doing, like, I was, like, in a mix a whole lot. I yeah. Mean, mix. But now I got around like that, and, like, he, like, moved me out the city, so then, like, that's, that stuff had to die down. Because mm -hmm. like, he used to always be like, like, well, you know, why would you be out at bars half naked or parties, and, you know, and... You got a whole dude and mm -hmm. stuff like that. He ain't never really respect stuff like that. So I really couldn't do it when I was with him. So you're saying you put Ron on with the parties and everything? or I guess I put him on with parties, but uh -huh. like I introduced him to like mm -hmm. the scene like we was in. Like me yeah. and Rob and all that. A lot of people really didn't know Ron too. Uh -huh. But you know, that didn't mean nothing. Like, once he did his first couple things, like, he just kept going. Just, and I liked it that him and Rob got real, real close. Yeah. Like, 
they got real, real close. And Rob was always telling me, like, before he died, he was like, yo, you really introduced me to my best friend. Like, mm-hmm. cause, like they really became. Oh, I thought they grew up. Like, I thought no. they, they grew up. So, so you saying, like, Southwest, I'm like, damn. So I knew Rob was from, like, South Philly or whatnot. So, mm-hmm. but um, just real quick before I go into, like, just the Rob situation, like, I always said the 7th Street shit. Like, do 7th Street niggas get money? Like, what's the whole stigma with that 7th Street shit? Like, well, for as long as I know, like, I ain't gonna hold you. 7th Street known for, you know. Yeah. For everybody on their team getting a couple dollars. Yeah, like, yeah. not just one of them. Uh-huh. Like, you know, usually when you go places, it's like, there's one person got money, but the young girls don't. One thing you hear about 7th Street, like, they all got, you know, they yeah. all doing something. So, yeah, I can't say, you know, a couple of them, mm-hmm. they get a couple dollars. But that's old. Like they've been. They got a couple dudes from down there that's like been getting the bag. Like, yeah. Back then, like or whatever. Well, um, you know when you let's just go to the Rob situation. I know it was real sensitive. Like I never seen like a city just come together for just one person. And you know you got your green on too, right? That mm-hmm. your neon green. Like <laughs> you know, were you close to Rob? Yeah, me and Rob was real close. Mm-hmm. It was. It used to be where people used to speculate things like. Yeah. That, but it was never nothing like that. We mm-hmm. always was. Rob was like a cool person. Like, yeah. if you didn't like him, you just like, to me, like you just like, a better person. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't like him, cause he never really done nothing to nobody. Mm-hmm. Probably hit some niggas, bitches. Yeah. That's what Rob. <laughs> Rob hit a lot of girls. Yeah. Like, even with him being in a relationship with. They he hit a couple of my friends. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, Rob hit a lot. I'm not saying he hit them while he was in a relationship. But I'm saying like mm-hmm. he got a, a a record. Okay. He hit a lot of girls mm-hmm. in this city. So even when he died, like you see, like all the females yes. coming out. You know? I always wonder what the funeral was like. Like was it a situation there, or was it everybody was just paying their respect? Because yeah. you know you messing with a lot of women, and you you're in a you know relationship. It's mm-hmm. just I know it got to be difficult. Mm-hmm. I didn't even go to the funeral. Mm. I had court the day his funeral, and I had to go to North Carolina for court. So oh, I went to court, but yeah, I didn't go to his funeral. Yeah. Did like, it upset you? No, no, not really. Cause I'm gonna keep real. I ain't even make it to one of my closest friends for him. Cause late, like when mm-hmm. she died, I had got locked up or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I was locked up for the weekend. And uh-huh. I didn't get bail until that, you know. So her friend of had came, like, I was, like, mad. Like, I was real fucked up over there. I was, like, yeah. in there crying and going because mm-hmm. I knew it was her friend of like, and people were like, expecting me to be there. Yeah. But, like, people understood, like, mm-hmm. it's crazy that when she died, whatever, the night she died, like, I was supposed to have been with her. Mm-hmm. So, like, the next morning when, you know, I heard that it happened, I had showed up at her own grandmother's house. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the actual person that actually did it was there. The person who, who, who killed her was... There? Yes. Mm-hmm. She was killed in a domestic violence situation. Wow. Yeah, because it was rumored that, like, she, you know, she was into some, like, just playing a dirty game out here, and that's why it happened. No, that, none of that was true. Wow. Yeah. You see, when yeah. something going on in the city, it was always something like yeah. that. Nah, it was nothing like that. Yeah. It was just a flat out situation of mm-hmm. she was dealing with. A cornball nigga. <laughs> like, that's all I could like. I was talking to uh, Lee Mays when we did our interview. Um, actually, I don't think we caught that on camera, but she was saying that she knew it because she used to like ride bikes and stuff like that. So I guess she was real known in the, in the, in the city. Yeah, before, right? they had a name before mm-hmm. social media was even a thing. Like, yeah. So they, yeah. She was like known and loved like mm-hmm. all over. So all of that that people were saying, like, well, she did this and she did that. Yeah. I couldn't tell because she wasn't getting bothered. Yeah. Is the, is, the, is the killer, is he incarcerated? Yeah. He's like, hey, he got caught up to him. What about, um, did anybody ever find out about, like, Rob situation? Mm, I mean, it's speculations about the Rob situation. Mm-hmm. Somebody had got taken in, you know, and mm-hmm. questioned about it and stuff. Wow. Like, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because I, I did hear a rumor about that too. I'm not going to get too deep into it because, you know, there's open cases and stuff, but, you know, they, they, they did get some questions. And then, um, do you do you believe that, it, that, they, did it, that they did it? I can't say I believe because I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't even know the situation of why it happened. Yeah. Like, I started hearing the situation of why it happened after the fact mm-hmm. he got killed. Because it's like he wanted people that, when it happened, it was like, why would fuck kill? Like, why would somebody do that to him? Yeah. Like, you know, it was just like one of them, like, who who did that? Why would yeah. they do that? For what reason? Like, you had to really think about it. You know, other niggas, they go, and you don't even got to, like, all right, yeah. you know, who gets up around? Like, 
He ain't never take nothing from nobody. He ain't never do nothing to nobody. Mm -hmm. like, I couldn't see it happening like to him. So just like you said, you was popping before, you know, the whole internet. Because even just now, anything you put your name on, anything you do, it just seemed like people jump on it or they try to, you know, do it first. But just going before the social media and and and, and life, like, where did you, like, grow up at? And, you know. Well, I grew up down here in so mm -hmm. really. But from the other side of the tracks, I'm from 18th and Carpenter. Okay. You, and, you know, down here, that's like. The good side, yeah. Like the better side, yeah. Because there's you know, coffee shops and the shit over there, over there uh -huh. you know, and you know the people over there and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But we always was like, I'm here in the hood, <laughs> in the streets and stuff. Like yeah. I used to be everywhere as a young buck. Like I was always known for fighting and stuff like mm -hmm. that and carrying on around my neighborhood. Like mm -hmm. I just like didn't care. Like and I was just with whatever. Mm -hmm. Like like I was with all the bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. And like people, I don't know, I can't say like I gain respect from fighting. Mm -hmm. I just gain respect from always being my natural self. Like I ain't never like act different yeah. from nobody or change nothing. Like, I don't know if it's a Scorpio thing, like you got a tough heart or if you got brothers or something. Because I'm like, yo, Connie. Well, well, like I, grew up, I got all brothers. Like, uh -huh. only had no sisters, I got all brothers. Oh, and yeah. I grew up in a house with all boys, a uh -huh. lot of boys. Like my older cousin, who lived with our grandma, so it was a lot of boys mm -hmm. in the house. And I always was around boys, so. You don't seem like you was a tomboy, though. I was. You was? <laughs> Back in the day, like, I used to dress like a little boy because I used to want to dress like my brother. Yeah. Or whatever like that. So my grandma used to, like, buy us the same clothes. Uh -huh. so I have a bunch of boy clothes and stuff like that. But I always, I don't know, I always was known, like, uh -huh. affectionately by everybody in my hood. Like, anywhere I go, like, I could walk corner to corner. Mm -hmm. The older guys and stuff like that, like. They look out for me, they yeah. make sure I'm cool. Especially and cause, you know, a couple of people in my family got little names and stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't know, nobody not really bothered. My grandma, she was like OG where yeah. I'm from. Like she was block captain, she was everything, <laughs> like so everybody knew who my grandma was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my grandma really, really like was stamped out here. So you said you had to like you know, fight a lot when you was younger. Like was it what was the reason by that? Like you know, what was the reason for you? I wouldn't say I had to fight. Like, once I started fighting and, like, I knew, like, I could beat people up. Like, yeah. that was just always my go-to to handle my problems. Mm -hmm. Like, if something happened, like, I'm just beat you the fuck up. And that's it. Like, like, because most people, like, back then, if I beat them up, they ain't never give me another problem. Like, yeah. it get it got more crazy when I got older because it's like, like, oh, this person trying to test me, this person. They even want some type of clout off of yeah. going at it with me or having some beef with me. Like, but, yeah, when I was younger, I just used to, like, bottom line everything with, I'm going to beat you up. But what was they bullying you for? Like, I don't See, I don't well, understand. I can't say I ever got bullied. Like, people talk like, about me and stuff like that know. and always say stuff about me, especially, you know, how yeah. I look and stuff like that. Like, I've had people not like me because of how I look. Uh -huh. But that's super weird to me. But yeah. I never cared and stuff like that. Like, I always was like, I don't know. I never was like a loud mm -hmm. person or nothing. I'm always calm. I'm always the same. Like, everybody was telling me, like, I got a national attitude. Yeah, you do. You got like a real, like, yeah. national like, chill. Like, like yeah, you're not somebody can just be loud. Like yeah, your other voice probably go to a level yeah, four. I don't even yeah. raise my voice. So like, uh -huh. If I'm raising my voice, you know, like something's up. Like, yeah. If I'm raising my voice, it's more likely I'm having fun or I'm being loud or something. Uh -huh. It's not yeah, really because yeah, I'm mad. Yeah. Even when I'm mad, I don't be yelling at nobody. Uh -huh. I just always got the same tone. Like, Are you the type to talk or like it just go right in their mouth? Not really. If I gotta fight, I gotta fight. Like I don't, <laughs> once we get to that point, we yeah. saying we fighting. Like I don't really want to talk. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I had so many fights because I never really gave a chance like to talk to all of them. Fight versus like, talk later. Yeah, like yeah. we already made it to this point. Like, how do you deal with just like the, the bullying like online? Because like people go crazy. Like, I mean, like, and I just don't, sometimes I'll be like, damn, why? Like, how can one person just get so much hate? But that, at the same time, you getting over a thousand and something like sometimes four thousand. Like, I just don't understand. And, and, the, and the one thing I do see if you don't mind me saying, it's like everybody always say this whole like horse thing. Like, what is that? I don't understand. I mean, I guess if I got an overbite, mm -hmm. my teeth, but that never really bothered me because like I always look like this. Like, yeah. And I, it never was like a 
it never like hindered me from mm -hmm. anything. Like it never like stopped nothing. It never like stopped boys from talking to me, yeah. girls from talking to me, whatever. Like yeah. so, it never really bothered me ever. Like mm -hmm. people always say something about it. Yeah, of course. Like because you know I look different mm -hmm. than a lot of people. But like I like that I look different. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, I be supposed to. I've been supposed to. You know get it done, get to work a, yeah. a couple times. So I know you got to a bag. Yeah, and I'm actually in the process now of mm -hmm. getting, you know, with the work done. But you think you still be counting back if you got it done? Because I feel like that's that also separates you too. Yeah, I do feel like that's kind of like my mm -hmm. signature. Like, so I'm not really in a rush. Mm -hmm. Like, I have, I was like, I had an appointment, you know, to go to a consultation, like, for, for like a whole six months. I mm -hmm. kept not going because, like, the day it would happen, I would be thinking about it, like, man, I don't want that. Like, yeah. Or, you know, or I ain't gonna like how I look, or I'm not going to recognize myself, like, because it's not me, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, man, I don't know. Like, I, it will be, you know, if you want to change you, change you. I feel like that yeah. will also, like, just take away from, like, who you are and stuff like that. But also, too, like, you're very confident, like, confident as shit. Hold up. Yeah, you confident as shit. Like, I ain't never seen that much confidence. Or, I mean, I've seen it, but, like, the way you carry it, that shit gotta make niggas mad. Yeah, that's what makes a lot of people mad. Mm -hmm. Like, that it don't bother me, like, what they say, and it don't stop nothing for mm -hmm. me. Like, you know, I done had people talk about me in the worst. I done heard the most craziest stuff about me out here. Like what? Like, crazy <laughs> stuff. Like... I didn't hear like I didn't set people up before. And that South Philly stigma. Yeah, stuff um, like that. Like I ain't never before in yeah. my life. Like I didn't hear that I got some type of illness or like all types of stuff. Like mm -hmm. people say, but that's what bothers people. Like I think it's my confidence. But like I can't even. I don't even know why. Like I just always been like that. Like just mm -hmm. I just felt like I could do whatever I want to do. Like. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because of like how I was raised, like like my grandma always put it in my head, like, you could do whatever you want, like, you know. She always told me I was pretty. Like yeah. my coming up in my household, like I was always so cute, you know. Yeah. It ain't never bothered me, so like and even I always was like attracted to people, like people always wanted to like be friends with me and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like so it never was like a thing like where though it made me feel like I don't know if it's hurting me or something, or, you know, I don't never feel bullied. Yeah. People say I'm a bully. Yeah. But I'm not. Like, Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I say, look, when I go on Philly School Paul, I'll be looking for your comments. I'll really be looking for your comments. Because you be going in, I I can't say this person's name, but you told them to put a pillow. <laughs> Give them a toy to play while he sit on that pillow. And I'm not gonna laugh because you know that's not politically correct. But I say, yo, this girl was a fucking savage. He started with me though. <laughs> I will say that I might. Now one thing about me, I got a crazy, crazy mouth and mm -hmm. little camera. Like, yeah, I have always right. been like the smartest in my class uh -huh. and stuff like that. And I was like a first grade date to send me to like third grade for mm -hmm. reading and stuff like that. I always just sell in my books and stuff like that. I just yeah. was like a problem child, uh -huh. like. But everybody liked me, like all my teachers and stuff like that, like regardless of what I did. So like, I don't know. In my school coming up, like I was kind of known as the bully, but then I was known as the one that everybody like. So did like, they scared and not like you though? That might I be don't stuff. think so because when people actually get to know me, they be like, "Yo, you was not even like uh -huh. like that." Like, cause I'm not like I feel like I'm this big bad person. Uh -huh. Like. I'm just like, if something won't go down, like, I'm just like, I'm not scared. Like, yeah. I'm not tough or nothing. I'm just like, I don't really don't fear too much. Like, mm -hmm. that's all. So, how are you and Jen, like, like hook up? Because y'all are in two different parts of the city. Like, she's in, like, Uptown by the area. You in South Philly. You know, how did their friendship, like, hook up? You know, it's so crazy. I started being friends with Jen because I was going there with one of her friends. Mm -hmm. And my friend Lele was cool with her or whatever. So Lele was playing like devil's advocate and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I had, I used to have a friend or whatever named Erica. Like, Erica used to be heavy in the stores, like, yeah. with the 
with the stuff. Stuff like mm-hmm. giving the shit. Then that's why a lot of people think I used to do it because I used to be with her all the time, mm-hmm. and like she used to walk around and she. I ain't gonna lie, like we was like this. So never she would make a bank roll, like she would split it down with me and mm-hmm. shit like that. And like we used to go around, we used to have a lot of money on us as yeah. like teenagers. It was like eighteen, nineteen and stuff, and we used to have a lot of money. So like. We, we used to be going everywhere. Like, I didn't experience a lot at a young age just because, like, I could, like, yeah. I could do a lot of things. Like, mm-hmm. So I met Jennifer because I was fighting some girl. <laughs> and she was so happy to be friends with the girl. And Lele was, like, you know, trying to, like, get to the bottom of it. So Lele was, you know, calling her. And Lele was telling me about her, like, yeah, mm-hmm. my girlfriend, Jen, you know seeing who she was and stuff like that. You know me, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't care, whatever. And, and it so happened, like, one night we went out and we met up with her, Jennifer, and I'm like, this was like 11 years ago. Like, and I had, was with him inside of a party. We was like together talking and just like getting drunk and partying together. And then like, ever since then, like, we just started like hitting each other up. Like, we would hit each other up on Instagram and talk on social media and stuff like that yeah before instagram what was it facebook and MySpace, right mm-hmm. like, yeah we was talk on social media apps and stuff like that and one time she was like you know she seemed that i had a little buzz and stuff yeah. like that she was like yeah like i think we should have a party together and stuff like that and like we was having parties together and our parties used to turn out crazy like, yeah was you around during that like when she was messing with the you know uh popular rapper or was that around the black poppy days no, it was before him, before mm-hmm. she got with him. Okay. Cause like she kind of like brought him to the light. Yeah. So like it was before she Which got one? with him. Which one? Like, I don't uh-huh. know. Like Poppy or whatever. <laughs> that was his name when she <laughs> first started messing with him. Like, he just started rapping around uh-huh. him. But like, I see him though. Like, he's doing good. Yeah. I feel like he got the look mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And he got the he got the bag to do mm-hmm. it too. Like, cause he had a bag before rap. Yeah, so yeah. Like, he not one of them boys that just got put on. Mm-hmm. So that's what make it kind of better for him. Y'all feel like y'all being cool together, like like y'all kind of like similar in one because it's like y'all do with the heat with the, the, the social media stuff. But then, you know, y'all just got the same confidence, the bad bitch shit. I don't know if y'all like the same niggas or whatever, but I'm saying like not the same niggas, but like the same type. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like. You know, one of them. I can't. I don't think we like the same mm-hmm. type because yeah. I deal with somebody that you know yeah. ain't really like, mm-hmm. ain't really got shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like she ain't gonna deal with nobody. <laughs> ain't got shit. Like she not. But yeah. I will. Yeah, I see you. So was- I can't say we we deal with the same type. I uh, mean, we had we have same certain type of dudes trying to talk to us and mm-hmm. stuff like that, but. When guys be coming for a gym, like they, you know, they be knowing like they gotta come correct. Uh-huh. And, like, you know. No, so. she she's like the deal, like younger dudes. You like older, younger. Because I seen somebody on one of your stories, you put uh, one of your young niggas must have been <laughs> fucking. You must have been texting. He was voice messaging you. You like this nigga go job. He fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, look, 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 man. Um, so just going back to guys or whatever. If I'm not mistaken, like you had a, um, he was dealing with a guy. And he actually passed away, um, some time back. Like, how was that moment for you? It was like crazy because like I never lost like a significant other. Uh huh. Like, I be seeing like I had a lot of friends like growing up. Like my closest friends, like one of my closest friends. Lost her baby power, right? Before mm-hmm. she was having her baby. Damn. One of my other friends lost her baby power, right? Like, it's like two of our friends, they had got pregnant and they was like in a relationship mm-hmm. with guys and they ended up getting killed before they was able to have their babies. Damn. And like, I watched that happen to them, like, and it was just like the saddest thing. Like, mm-hmm. and I used to be, think to myself, like, I don't want that to happen to me. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it kind of did, mm-hmm. but like, it kind of didn't because at the time he died, we wasn't in a relationship, mm-hmm. but we was still like, tied to each other. Anybody knew him because of me. Mm-hmm. Anybody knew if they saw him, they would think of me because mm-hmm. you know, I, I was his girl. Mm-hmm. And this is whatever, the guy, whatever I had quit my court case with. Mm-hmm. You know? 
and yeah. it was like all over everybody was like making it a big about thing to say, yeah. like posting my mug shots mm -hmm. places calling me trap queen i was about to say that i was about to say you call yourself a trap queen or a ride or die because that that situation is it i don't know if you took a charge or you got honestly that's the thing i didn't take no charges uh -huh. like, being as though we was in another state which was north carolina okay they that's why you operated the totally different than mm -hmm. philadelphia mm -hmm. so when it happened everybody was like speculating like oh why he didn't just tell them that you know he did so they could let yeah. you go he did that and you know what the police told him they said that's between you her and your lawyers like they had to lock both of us up because we were together when mm -hmm. they caught him and you know they was going to take me anyway because you know i'm a girl so they probably thought like oh she a weak one we're going yeah. she over there over here in mm -hmm. another state and you know, when they took me in that room, they was really trying to like scare me, but they didn't know that I was already built and prepared for this. Yeah. Like, I didn't meet this guy not knowing what he do. Yeah. So that's why when it, when it happened, everybody was like, hey, if I was you, I would do this and do that. Like, no. Mm. Like, I have people telling me to tell them. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no. Like, I knew what was going on. It's mm. not like I just, he just put me in a situation I didn't know what I was doing. How long was y'all together? Five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. So you knew at some time, at some point, something like this would happen. Yeah, I know. They tried to turn y'all against each other. Yeah, but the fact that I grew up around it, it was mm -hmm. like more easy for me to get through. I'm not yeah. gonna say it was an easy thing to get through because that's mm -hmm. the worst thing ever. Like that court stuff, especially having to go to court in another state that yeah. you're not from and go there by yourself. You're not knowing if they're gonna keep you that day or whatever. Yeah. Like it was just like crazy for me. But I was the I've been raised around that type of stuff all mm -hmm. my life. Like like I said, my grandma was like the one oh, the right way. Yeah. So yeah. before I knew actually what she had me doing, because I was younger, like she used to like put stuff in my bag and make me walk into certain corners, like meet oh, this person on this corner. And she's like, don't don't open this bag, like yeah. and stuff like that. Did you open it? No. Uh. <laughs> Later on, I found out, you know, she was having me bust traps for yeah, her. Yeah. So like my grandma like, had everything mm -hmm. around the way. Even like the dealers was coming to her for mm -hmm. certain stuff. You never got scared, like even just being booked, like doing that whole pay your bill thing. Like, did you know? I not really, cause me, like I said, like I'm not an internet bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm a street bitch. Like God, I, I grew up like that. Like I probably I grew up throwing stones at the penitentiary. <laughs> like I was in placements and stuff like mm -hmm. that coming up. So I can't say that was the right way. Yeah. of going about it but when you live this type of life it's like you think like when the risk is bigger i mean when the reward is bigger than the risk mm -hmm. you be like okay <laughs> especially me i've been locked up and stuff like that so sometimes you get a little ignorant with it like all right well if i get locked up i'm gonna get bailed on yeah. you know this is gonna happen and blah 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 but yeah i don't feel like me at the place i'm at now i don't mm -hmm. feel like i probably would like do nothing mm -hmm. like that no more so what happened with that whole pay your bills scheme? Because let me tell you the part that I know. I know that whatever was going on, you was doing it with a partner. And y'all were going around, you know, paying people bills. And some folks it was successful. And some of them, I heard it was successful. Now, somebody that I do know, um, y'all paid it back. You gave them the money back. You mean? And it all worked out just because, you know, that situation didn't go through. So I guess, you know, you were, you were playing a good good person they probably didn't want that on your conscience or whatever the reason was but what was the whole thing it's not even that it was like it wasn't just me and a partner like just me and one girl it was like a whole group of people doing it, it was people like that we was on we didn't even know that they was doing it right because a lot of stuff went down the car right, so. basically it was just like a quick way to get some money uh -huh. but like it was like some money money like mm -hmm. it was like money so when it was going on like i knew like you know, it could be chances that certain stuff could happen. So mm -hmm. in my head, I had it, all right, I'm just gonna stack this money up yeah. to a certain place. So if something bad do happen, I could be able to, you know, fix it mm -hmm. for certain people. But everybody don't operate how I operate and I couldn't make everybody. So yeah. it was like, since they knew it was like a lot of us doing it, it was mm -hmm. just like, if one person did something, it was like, it was all like, but it never was. Everybody did it how they wanted to do it. Yeah. Whoever you work with, that's who you work with and who responsible for you. Like some people was coming to me about what other people was doing. Yeah, cause you like the fix shit. I don't have shit. nothing to do with that. Like, uh -huh. if I can't do nothing, like, because it's not my fault, mm -hmm. it's not me. 
anybody who I dealt with, I tried to like, you know, fix something if it went wrong. But yeah. it was a lot of stuff that didn't go wrong. Like, yeah. And it's something that now I think about, I'm glad like when it was over, like ain't nothing crazy happened. Like, yeah. you, know, when, you know, somebody had to, you know, take the fall for it, you know, and it, it happened with them, but I was cool. It was good because you made sure you covered your ass with shit. Yeah. <laughs> so like, what was it? What was it? What was it like? Was it some type of like somebody, like uh, what you said earlier was crazy with like just the whole number game and they just you know know how to finesse the shit like what actually? Yeah, it basically was like some stuff like you know you had to come you had to come up with in your own mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody got teach you, you know, the, the game of it, mm-hmm. but then you got to really know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's the, uh, I had, to, I had put someone else onto it, you know, that I was dealing with, mm-hmm. and then I just like went bad from there, like, it's like some stuff you shouldn't even like, yeah. take the people. Y'all wasn't scared to deal with that, like, backlash, because it seemed like it was a, like a, like a lot of people, even when we freshly talked about it on, on the uh, when they gram like you know you was going back and forth with niggas and shit. So you a type of person that stand on what you do. You uh-huh. don't really care to be scared or nothing like because mm-hmm. you don't stand on it. Like if I did something, like, mm-hmm. if I said something, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, it don't mean like a backlash. Like I get backlash if I wipe my ass. So <laughs> I don't. It don't matter to me. Like. Yo, you so you always been like a business street savvy like person. Yeah, like I always was known like for getting a little couple dollars, like mm-hmm. the, the little hood bitch that you know. Yeah, was getting was on her people. Like uh-huh. I never been like disrespected by guys and stuff like uh-huh. that. For the same thing, cause they respected me as like their level. Like mm-hmm. I used to, I used to always be able to play with the boys. Like go out, like. As niggas buying bottles, I can buy bottles and yeah. stuff like that. But you know, when Jen went out with her, like, she went to, like, we ain't never spend more money, like, so, you know. Yeah. That's one thing I can say, like, if me and her go somewhere, we cool. Like, uh-huh. we ain't never got to, like, go through a lot of type of stuff that other people. When I interviewed her, she said that, yo, she learned the game. I think from her cousin, somebody, she said, uh, they told her when she go into a bar, Tell niggas you want a drink, mm-hmm. and they give you forty dollars. And tell mm-hmm. all these niggas in the club before you know it, you got a whole fucking bag. Yep. Go. <laughs> we'll go in the club. We we'll, we'll go in there. Like, where are you spending no money on nothing? We we'll mm-hmm. go to niggas, niggas we know. Like, and niggas they fuck with us here. Yeah. So it's a certain times we could just walk up to niggas like, yo, buy us, buy us a bottle. You know, uh-huh. right? buy me and my girlfriend some drinks. Like, we need yeah. some drinks. Like, and then like it's to the point like now yeah, we ain't even gotta go like niggas come to us like, uh-huh. y'all cool like y'all want something like because they know what we re- require yeah you know, certain girls they just come out of nowhere thinking like they can ask or demand certain stuff that yeah. they never did before uh-huh. people know when they see us like you know so y'all been y'all been on your hot girl summer city girl <laughs> shit like this shit old y'all yeah <laughs> look so is that why they call you see the Mac? Like the Mac? Like you be Mac and all that? Where that name come from? I got the name Connie Mac when I started being up North Philly. Mm-hmm. I used to be, I don't know if you know all his shit boys. They was like real, real popular. Yeah, they were like a party. Was a trap tree. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was all his shit boys. But that's the trap tree. It's yeah. like they hood. But they was all his shit boys. Uh-huh. They had like a girl group, like a thong party. It was like called All Glam Shit. Uh-huh. And I was in it. And I was like the leader. Like they made me like the leader because they seen like a lot of the girls. Like they fuck with you, yeah. And they used to say like they liked the way I dress and stuff like that. They used to be wanting me like to dress the girls in yeah. certain situations. Like if we went out there and had Cammy pick out everybody's outfits. So like they start calling me Connie Mac because like, I don't know. I always was like known to like deal with females like so you was fucking with bitches <laughs> <laughs> let me turn around a bit wait so you was fucking with girls i actually dealt with girls but i ever dealt with guys mm. I, I i used to experiment with girls especially like being in placements and coming yeah. up like in placements like we was, was all girls uh-huh. like and we used to like experiment <laughs> you do you do you consider yourself bi or is it just like some vicarious shit I'm not, never curious. I ain't curious about shit. I know about it. Like I ain't, ain't nothing to be curious about. Like, uh-huh. but I, I would just say like I like what I like. Like uh-huh. I don't care. Like 
Yeah. If I see it, if I meet a girl and we like click and I like her, I like her. If I like a guy, I like a guy. So would you be in a full time relationship with a girl over over the over a guy? I always said I wouldn't be in never be in a relationship with a girl, but I had been one time. Mm-hmm. And like I slipped into that. Like I yeah. had been one time. I was in a relationship with a girl, and it was just like crazy. It was like. I don't feel like I could be that because since I'm a girl and she's a girl, it's like yeah. when any time something go on, it's like I'm quick to just like I'm gonna beat you the fuck up yeah. or something like. And I don't want to be the person. Yeah. Or like that. But so do you I, beat your niggas up too? I can't say I beat them up because I shouldn't be able to beat no man. Yeah. Out there. If I could beat you, if I feel like I could beat you. Like I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I probably jumped in niggas' faces, swung uh-huh. at them, like and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, if something went down with me and my dude, like. I can't help, like put him in the whole room for it, cause, so, and I'm a wild well, bitch when uh-huh. when I'm like on that type of time, like, mm-hmm. and I'm like hard to tame, like, and I know like if I'm swinging at a dude and stuff like that, like I'm swinging, and if I'm punching, I'm punching him hard, uh-huh. so I can't say like you know, have I ever got beat up by a guy that I was dealing with? Probably, but I wouldn't say he beat me up. I would be like I was fighting him, <laughs> like, so when I'm like you back. to. No, because I, I feel like I'm probably more the more abusive yeah. one. Yeah, you know, like, you sound like Jack. That's why I say y'all like close to like. So wait, so what type of girls do you like? Like feminine, masculine? Yeah, it has to be a feminine, feminine girl. joint. Are you more dominant in the bedroom? Probably so. A dominant in the bedroom, then? Probably so. <laughs> I keep forgetting you a Scorpio, full on Scorpio. So wait, is the sex way different? I mean, well, of course, but is the sex different with like females and men? I don't know. Both females and males tell me like I'm real good. Yeah. Oh, you real good. <laughs> you have niggas lying on their dick on you. Say they hit yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a nigga lying on his dick for the longest one. It's like he said it to my face too. Something like that. Like, did I? This nigga like, why? I'm like, no, I didn't. Like, he yeah. lied to my face about it. So I'm like. Once that happened to me, that I don't put nothing past my body. People yeah. are lying and they're saying with a straight face to you. And it's like, you can't even argue with those type people. But you were mad though, so you might have forgot that you did some shit. Yeah, I mean, you might have no, no, I know. <laughs> I be knowing. I be knowing. And I know what type of niggas I deal with. There's certain type of niggas I would never deal with. Mm-hmm. Like, ever. Like, yeah. <laughs> How you feel about, like, you know, just being a, a, a trendsetter? Like, you know, niggas is used to. Sometimes you set the trend. I'll be looking at your fashion. I'll be like, damn, I'm not just like a girl. I really, you know. Yeah, I'm like, I'm I feel like I've always on. been like that on stuff like that because, I don't know, when I was younger, like, you know, I'm from South Philly, you know. Yeah. They say we come with the boosters. Like, a mm-hmm. lot of my big cousins, aunts and them, they used to be in the malls. Yeah. They would bring trash bags of clothes home for yeah. everybody. Like, everybody in the family. Like, and I had this one cousin, my cousin Janine. Like, we were real, real close. Like, she always, like, was like a big sister to me mm-hmm. and she used to be in and out them stores and she used to lace me like crazy yeah. like so i used to always have a lot of stuff and everything i used to be like the girl that came to school with new pair of sneakers on every couple days or so like that and everybody in school used to always be like telling me like i know how to dress and i'm different and stuff like that so i always got that from people mm-hmm. everybody don't like how i dress but you know, yeah some people say i can't but I just feel like they wouldn't know anything. Anyway. I was like, yo, you be putting your pieces together, you know what I mean? So you, I know you be doing your blog shit, like you ever end up on other people's blogs. That's the thing. That's what made me start my own. Like, uh-huh. It was like this whole blog for five years mm-hmm. up that was like basically focused around me and my group of friends. I just, well, I just heard something about a, a something ear, somebody ear, somebody, a blog about somebody. I guess somebody was fighting. They got the ear chewed on. Oh. So, what the fuck was that? No, there? my cousin, whatever, when all that, that fallout happened with the page and all that. Yeah. And I got into a fight with my former co-host. Uh-huh. And my cousin was fighting with me. She was fighting her friend. And ended up biting her ear. <laughs> I'm like, what? It was like, but nobody did know. When they were fighting, she bit my cousin first. My mm, titty. And mm-hmm. you hear my cousin, like, why they fighting? Like, yeah. this is biting me. My cousin bit her back. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm like, a ass. piece of her ear was off. Uh, like, with some Evander the Holyfield shit? Yeah, like, like a piece, it was like off on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but the crazy part of my cousin, that mm-hmm. one that bit her, she, she got these sharp ass teeth. Like, mm-hmm. her canines are like real, real sharp. She bit yeah. me before, and I still got the mark right here. Oh shit. She bit me when I was a little girl. Yeah. She was fighting. So, like, 
She vicious for that. <laughs> yeah, you ever uh, you ever thought about getting your body done? Not really. When I came home from jail the last time, I was super big mm -hmm. and like. I was about to say you look. Jen big. looked at me like, oh, "Kind of you fat, like you know, like she was type like you can't like." Yeah. I don't know. She like she like she want perfection and everything, mm -hmm. but I'm not really me. But she had told me like she offered to get my body done, mm -hmm. and I was like, "No, I turned it down." Did she say that so you can hang with her? Or what? No, she just told because she was like, "You fat and stuff like that." And I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna lose it." I was a little big <laughs> on the big side. I was big, but I was like, "I'm gonna lose it. I'm cool." Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm gonna just lose it because you know mm -hmm. I was in jail. I'd be home. I'd be smoking. I smoke heavy. Yeah. And you know I'm more moving around a lot, so mm -hmm. I knew I was gonna lose the weight. To me, that's just not for me. Yeah. I don't knock it. I got a lot of friends uh -huh. who got they work done. They look good and it looks yeah. nice. I don't knock it at all, and I don't knock it for nobody else. If they want to get it, I'm not gonna say, "Oh no, don't do it." Yeah, is that one of your realest friends? Like your, your one of your realest homies? Like keep that shit clean. I got a lot of real homies. Like like my real friends, they mm -hmm. all real. Like my friends that I grew up with, like they gonna tell you. Yeah. You know, I feel like when people are being fake women, they're not really my real friends. They're mm -hmm. just people that just, you know. You have people just trying to hang around you because they, cause, cause they get popularity and shit like that. Yeah, and people feel like, you know, I could make certain things happen. Mm -hmm. and I could do a lot of things and be a lot of places. So I do feel like some people just want to be around just because for that. You ain't never had nobody tell you like, yo, Connie, you got to chill off this fucking page shit. Like, you ever feel like you're damn. Like, the reason why this shit keep getting shut down is because it's just, it started so much stuff. No, I can't say that because... Mm -hmm. It's all these pages right now and they literally post the same exact stuff that I'll be posting. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's just me. Yeah. Like I just feel like a lot of people here don't want me to have nothing. <laughs> like and anytime I do got something this old she shouldn't have this or she doing this and this mm -hmm. or that or just like if I wear a lot some designer stuff, mm -hmm. oh why you got that but she wants your teeth done and blah 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 like because that's what I want. Like yeah. I I can get whatever I want mm -hmm. and make it happen. Like I, that's what I want. Like, but people they tend to think that they know things just from seeing. Just things from seeing a lot of shit. Yeah, that's a lot of people feel like they know me and they don't at all. Mm -hmm. and they got a whole different like perception of me. Like, so what made you start? Like, let's talk about it, sis. Because allegedly it wasn't just like you and um, it was a group of folks. So. Turning that into, I guess, an LLC and others may not have a part ruffled a couple feathers allegedly out there. So can you just. I don't us, like, feel like it even. Or? It did ruffle some people's feathers, but the person who I actually started and I came up with the idea with, mm -hmm. it was just one person, mm -hmm. and that was Erin. She mm -hmm. was a part of the group when we first met. Was she was supposed to do the interview with you? Yeah, it was. It was three of us or whatever like that. So. Me and Aaron have been cool. We've been yeah. knowing each other. We went to the same school coming up, you know. We always used to talk about this, things like this, because me and Aaron used to be on Twitter a lot, and we used to have, like, Twitter, like, going crazy, mm -hmm. me and her, and that, where, like, people just like, y'all so funny, you know. So we used to talk about doing a podcast and a show, and it never went nowhere. Aaron had called me out of the blue, like, out of nowhere, like, yo, Connie, like, remember we was talking about that? I'm like, yeah. She like, yeah, I think... I got it, we could we could start it in when I got somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, who? She told me it's London. Mm -hmm. I already knew who London was, but me and London weren't like, you know, cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just like on some like if we seen each other out, what's up? Man. But it was a situation with London and her friends before we even made it to let's talk about this where it was something about her supposed to be saying something to somebody. Somebody had sent me some text messages between her and other people mm -hmm. about me and Jennifer and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it was so old. Well, so when Aaron called me about like, will you be willing to do what I'm like, I don't care. Like, you know, cause I mean, I'm not a type of person like that. I don't hold grudges. Mm -hmm. Especially if nothing really happened about right. her. Like, she never put her hands on me, never had to like. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. I'll do this too. But against, a lot of people's better judgment. I ain't gonna hold you. A lot of people was telling me and being like, I don't do that with yeah. her. Or, you know. I was just like, knowing me, 
I'm the type of person I am, I be like giving everybody the benefit of the doubt. Like since mm-hmm. I won't do certain type of stuff, I don't think they will. Mm-hmm. And that's like my biggest problem. Like I really, really be, like be naive to a lot of shit. Cause like I just be feeling like I don't do that shit. Like mm-hmm. I don't. But you can't put nothing past nobody. Yeah. I just feel like with that, it was just like a situation that like going wrong. Like it's like you can't be cool with certain people. That's mm-hmm. just it. But how the name Let's Talk About It Sis came up, I came up with it. Period. Like we, um, it was me and Aaron's idea to do the podcast. Once London got added on, we all was talking about it. Power on, like, are we gonna be called and stuff like that? I, they threw out a few names. I straight said, "Let's talk about it." Sis on the rip, mm-hmm. and they both liked it. And when I said it, they're like, "All right, that's what it's gonna be." And that was just it. So man, though, it was my name. Then like we all had a little fall off and then the hair stuff went down and they were going live saying what happened or whatever. They always told everybody like, Yeah, she probably did come up with the name. Yeah. So I felt like if y'all saying I you know, y'all meant like I came up with the name, like why are y'all still trying to use it? Because right. they had made another page before it. Mm-hmm. When I first first like stopped everything, like shut the page down, they made another page called Let's Really Talk About It. Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, like, that's when they gave me an idea, like, get it LLC. And yeah. I was like, I'm going to go through getting this fit done because I don't want them using it, like, because I came up with it. So I did that. It didn't even take me long. Like, I hit somebody up that I knew that do, like, businesses and stuff. And I was just like, yeah, you know, how can I, like, you know, make this legit and mm-hmm. stuff like that? And they was, like, telling me what to do. And I did it, and I was ready to pay for it and pay money. So mm-hmm. I put some money out and stuff like that, and I ended up getting an LLC. And, like, it's, now it's actually a real business. Mm-hmm. Like, I could get, like, business credit with it and all that. Like, yeah. because, though, like, I got a business. Like That was smart for you to, like, LLC, especially if it was your idea or so. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, but I just see, like... You know, it made a lot of people like angry, but it's like yeah. now the page just. I just feel like now, being as though I'm LLC no more, that's why yeah. people don't want me to have yeah. page. They just keep getting shut keep, down. Yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, it's a lot of people that do it now, like, and I feel like I got get an inspiration for it, mm-hmm. like, but they're never gonna say that. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people doing it right now because they're seeing like how it's going, mm-hmm. but everybody's not gonna be able to do it the way I do it anyway, so. I don't never be caring. Like even when my page gets shut down, like I don't be too mad about it. It's mm-hmm. just a hassle about it. Cause like I am who I am regardless. Like yeah. if it should be on that page, I'm still kind of See why they keep shutting that page down, but if like, people hate on you, they don't never try to come to your page. To, they be trying to report stuff, mm-hmm. there's nothing on like, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, you don't do that type of stuff over So what was the whole like objective of just just let's, let's talk about it? Cause from the outside looking in, it just seemed like, you know, blasting folks and mm-hmm. You know, just kind of like starting shit. So, like, what was the whole thing? I mean, yeah, in the beginning, we was like super <laughs> messy and stuff. Yeah, we used to say, like, well, we got to get the the hype up about yeah. it or whatever. It was never supposed to be like, oh, this is just how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. It's just like, all right, we do got to, like, you know. Yeah. And that shit bring the attention, which yeah. it did. It brought a lot. Good mm-hmm. and bad attention. But what's so crazy about it, like, our city, I feel like, really is full of, like, a lot of hypocrites. Mm-hmm. Like, people is, like, People was like down low messy and stuff like that. Like yeah. it'd be certain people like talking about the page, like oh they don't like it, but they following it from yeah. their fake page or being on it every day from somebody else's page, yeah. watching like in everything, making comments. Like it's like people just I don't know they just they fake. Like yeah. when I talked to Nazi, um, I was we talked about the Sukiana situation. She was like. You know, if she had a better team or had a, a, a gay man on her team, you know, to get that shit together, it would, you know, help her out where she'd probably be, you know, where where Sookie is at. Now, I know that, if I'm not mistaken, y'all had a, a, a male uh, partner on your team. Do you feel like that kind of added that extra oomph onto it? No, we didn't it? have a male partner on our team. Y'all didn't? No. Okay, yeah, because if I wasn't mistaken, I heard it was four, three girls and a guy. Never. So, <laughs> it was never. I don't there. know. This is, this it was, was this three girls. It <laughs> okay. was never that. Like, People were, we, uh, was assuming that we started with Mir and, mm-hmm. you know, never. It was just us three. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even supposed to be nothing, had nothing to do with it, nothing. It's just like when we started doing our shows, he always would come in the comments and, you know, like, yeah. He would show love and comment and stuff, and people thought he was funny. And sometimes we would join him in on a live. Yeah. You know, he's funny. Like, most, like, homosexual guys they are funny like yeah he's funny like that's one thing i'm gonna take away from him. he's funny mm-hmm. but like some people they just like not right like mm-hmm. 
like it type it didn't even take me long to learn it but like it's just like that group wasn't for me mm -hmm. like period like it just wasn't for me it just had to I think Jen said that too. It was a situation where she just said she was staying out of it. I guess with the whole let's talk about it page too. So we we talked about that. On the end I of mean, video. she she was saying she was gonna stay out of it because in the beginning she used to tell me like I don't like you know you doing it with them you know yeah. I don't like what they be saying or blah blah. And I used to just be like tell them a certain words mind your business. Yeah, like you ain't gonna do what you like. Mm -hmm. So like you know once that happened, you know you take yourself out. I mean I don't. That don't bother me mm -hmm. or nothing like that. People who got it out there basically that me and Jen was like actually like having some type of situation because of that, which our situation had nothing to do with that. Yeah. Me and Jen always go at it with things, but mm -hmm. one thing about our situation, it had never made it to the internet. Yeah. Because we would like we go at it all the time, mm -hmm. like, every day. Like it been times like we don't talk to each other for months, mm -hmm. weeks, but nobody would know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like bringing other people into the equation like mm -hmm. made it like that. Okay. So what's the? Uh, so you had nothing to do with the court or something like that, or something with a whole. Court no, situation. only thing was I had when Mir said he was gonna start doing his because mm -hmm. I was telling him like you should do your own lives or whatever like mm -hmm. that. Like the the people like you, like they think you're funny and stuff like that. So. He like, all right, I'm gonna do it. First, we was coming up with little guidelines of what to do. So I had told him like, yeah, you should name it the People's Court because you know when you on, you always were like, you sending people. So he's like, oh yeah, that's decent. So that's when he started saying, you know, he was we the People's Court and all that. Mm -hmm. And he always, Mayor had all these little catchphrases that he would say like, you know, in London, she heard too. She had a lot of stuff, little mm -hmm. catchphrases. She would say that everybody started like mocking like yeah. like one we we had the whole city talking a certain way yeah. like every time somebody see me i was like they was like yo y'all got everybody seeing yeah. or doing this like i was say i hear a lot of people go hmm after yeah that's like, one thing shit. i can't say about when we like i can't say we all was together we've never with group when we all were cool mm -hmm. like it was like if we could have been like better to each other than we were yeah i feel like it would have been way bigger for mm -hmm. us and we could have went now I just feel like I got I got to work by myself. Like mm -hmm. I work better alone. Like, Is it harder by yourself or boring? Mm -hmm. It's way more easier, and smoother. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do nothing with nobody. I don't have to share nothing with anybody. Nothing like that. You think you you gotta see yourself being cool with them again? No. You what is Maryland? Then? No. Aaron. Me and Aaron are cool. Uh huh. It's no problem. Yeah. yeah. They're not even not really that. It's so much a problem, but the way it went with us is like no, that can't be like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that like that that shit went viral. Like, but and it's crazy, right? Like, mm -hmm. When I said, think about it, I don't even know why it happened. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm just, I'm just so weird. I don't even really know why it happened. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's another blog that you was like, like your name was on. I think it was called like Lipstick Alley or some shit like that. Like people could Google your name yeah. and all this shit to just yeah, come that up. That was actually the blog that inspired me. To start that, like, uh -huh. and stuff, cause like they would always be on there talking about yeah. me and my friend and stuff like that. But like mm -hmm. seeing the wrong stuff, making up stuff, mm -hmm. things that are not true. So I would be like, all right, I'll do my own thing. Like, and I know people will come and ask me questions. Like people come on my own live and ask me the most personal questions. Yeah. And like, but I feel like sometimes I gotta answer, I gotta give, cause like I'm up here and I'm talking about everybody else stuff. Mm -hmm. So I gotta like. I was about to say, yeah, you, you kind of gotta like do that. But you ever feel like you know? Since you like very popular, very known in the city, um, not so much that you're living for the people, but you have to keep up a certain image or look, or you know, you have to be on point because like so many people are watching you. Well, basically, that's how it is for everybody. Just even being in the city is hard because mm -hmm. you you always feel like you know you ain't doing good enough. The next person, because like, you'll see certain people doing certain things, mm -hmm. and they'll be like, damn. Like, why can't I do that? Or yeah. how I'm not doing that? So it's like, I feel like this city's problem is they watch other people too much and they be concerned what other people do yeah. is too much. Like, because mm -hmm. I feel like some people with me, they make it like they don't like me, but they really do. They like that how, how I am. They just can't ever be like that. Mm -hmm. So, so you had to spark it up. Yeah, I mean, because I really want to know before we, like, you know, just. Find out what's next with you. Um, speaking of all the businesses, because you definitely like business savvy, you know, getting your, getting to your next dollar and stuff. Um, 
when we first, you and I first, I can't even say that's our first encounter, but like what I remember is you had your dip. And I ain't gonna lie, that buffalo chicken dip was the shit. And I, I was I was hitting you up, like, yo, I need a pen, but I know you, you be busy and all that, but um, it made you really want to start getting into like the food, because I know you got like a food truck too, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always knew how I cook. Like, I was raised by my grandma, so, mm-hmm. like, just coming up, like, in the house, she cooked every single day. Like, it was, like, not a day that went by my grandma didn't cook. Like, we always mm-hmm. just eating dinner. Like, so, I always knew how to cook. So, like, but it was just, like, a hidden tower in my mind. Like, it's only people that actually knew how to, I knew yeah. how to cook. Like, when people look at me, they're like, you don't cook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I really knew how to cook. So, like... The taco dip actually was come from my family. So yeah. if anybody say that they made it or you know they was selling it before I started doing it, mm-hmm. they're a liar. Like, cause that came from like my family. That's like a family recipe. Mm-hmm. And like I've been making it since I was smaller. So I don't know. I used to cook it for everybody. Everybody used to be like they like it so yeah. much. So I just thought one day like, then I'm always thinking like what I can make some money off. Yeah. It's like I'm a hustler. Like I'm not a worker. Like I can't work for nobody. Yeah, like, I, don't, I don't have a job. I ain't have a job. Man, <laughs> a I love that. <laughs> like, you have you see yourself but, as a mom? Maybe one day, but I don't want to be a mom right now. Mm-hmm. Like, mom is just not what I aspire to be. Mm-hmm. I, I don't aspire to be nobody's wife, nobody's mother. Nobody Dang. Like <laughs> no, no, not, not right now. Just you get to the bag. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, all your, do your friends got kids? Like, you go look at them and be like, damn. Yeah, all my friends are like excellent moms and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but they kind of would keep me from not having one. Like the type of stuff yeah. I be seeing that they have to do and stuff yeah. like that, and that they go through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think it's selfish? And especially since you know a couple of my friends, you know, they got pregnant by people that got killed mm-hmm. before they even made it to see oh, their yeah. baby. So yeah. it was just like, damn, like I don't want that to be me and yeah. stuff like that, you know. But that kind of made them better, better moms, mm-hmm. like whatever, because my friends are whatever. They really do their mom stuff. Like you, uh, you think you're selfish? Uh, uh-uh, I'm not a selfish person mm-hmm. at all. Like I will give the person this shirt off my back, like mm-hmm. especially if we cool. And when you're around me, you'll get to see that anything I'm getting or I got, I want my friends to have it. Like mm-hmm. so, like if I got certain stuff, like I'm gonna try to help my friends get it. Mm-hmm. They see and I got it and stuff. They be like, oh, I want this or that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to help them get it. Like show them a way that they can get it. You know. What, what you see, let's talk about it since now for like 10 years from now. Like, cause I know you say you just, you know, working on your business and stuff. Like, where do you see that now? The crazy part about it, like, people probably think like, oh, she don't do nothing. Like, what she do is be like, I really, if you go online and Google my name, like, mm-hmm. I really got stuff in my name. Like, yeah. that's one thing, like, I made sure that I did. Like, mm-hmm. I got some stuff in my name. Like, so, I feel like from 10 years from now, like, well, how I want it to be. Let's talk about ourselves was never supposed to be like a visual thing, so it was like yeah. radio. Like I wouldn't be like on the radio. Uh-huh. I'd be feeling like I can be that that voice, yeah. especially in the city, like Yeah, definitely people would listen. Yeah, Rob you know crazy when Rob was living, Rob used to call me Shikanda Mandela. He's like, yo, when you say something, they yeah. gravitate to it. He was like, yo, you could say one thing, yeah, like cry- everybody's shit. gonna gravitate to it. So I be feeling like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. If people like hearing me talk my shit, like that's okay. But if you meet me in person, like, I don't really talk much. Mm-hmm. I am about to say, because you real relaxed. Yeah. Say, like, you real chill, you real relaxed. Like, but when you, whenever you want that, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Your I shit think that's vicious. like more like an alter ego thing for me. Like, I mm-hmm. know I can be, like, you know. Mm-hmm. like, when you, if you meet me, like, I'm not even talking to the type. That's crazy, because cause Jen could go. Like, she talk. So she a talk. <laughs> yeah, what, I swear. And that's why, that's another thing that we have in class. And she's like, you not even listen to me this time. She know I'll be all right. She, she will go. But Jen, she like more emotional and mm-hmm. more, like she had more feelings about things than I would, than I could. Like, yeah. Like even when it comes to like, just like people, places and things, like she showed more emotion to me. Mm-hmm. I think like since I don't show no type of like, she just be thinking like. You know she wants some shit. Yeah, you know, I don't care fuck. about it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just not going to do what you do about it, yeah. or react how you react. Like, I'm not gonna cry about certain things that she probably would cry about. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to talk out certain things that she probably want to talk out. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's, I don't care about that. Well, um, 
Like, what's your, what's your, what's your, like your mom or anything like that? Your parents or like that? Well, my mom died mm-hmm. at, when I was young and gay. So, like, I was raised by my grandma mm-hmm. or whatever. So, my grandma, I don't know. I think it's, like, she raised me, I can't say, like, to be, like, rough and tough. But she always told me, like, don't let nobody mess with me. Like, mm-hmm. She used to say, like, people won't try to mess with you because, you know, you look different and stuff like that. She don't let nobody do that to you. You know, she seen that type of stuff. She probably seen it break certain people. But she always used to tell me, like, don't, like, even, I'm not going to say she used to condone me to fight. But if somebody was, like, bothering me and stuff like that, like, mm-hmm. I ain't getting in trouble for beating their ass. Mm-hmm. Like, if I told my grandma, like, what happened about it and why I did something, yeah. like, I never got in trouble for it. Like, Was it tough growing up without a mom? Kind of, because, like, you see other people with their moms yeah. and stuff, and you think, like, damn, like, stuff will probably be different if, you know, you were raised by your mom instead of, yeah. but, like, I just be feeling like sometimes, like, it would, what happened was supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's, a, that's like that. Like, you ever yearn for that boy? Like, that, to feel that boy? Sometimes. Because mm-hmm. I always mother myself. Like, like I always... I can't say I raised myself because my grandma raised me, but she didn't really have, like, no rules. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't like, oh, you got to do this or that. Like, she kind of let me, like, be, like, a free spirit. That's yeah. why I always fuck with my grandma, man. Mm-hmm. Like, we always, like, close because she just, like, let me be myself. Like, so what's, like, what's... what's What's next for you? Like just with everything that you're doing, like what's next for you? I've been having a lot of people like come to me, like come in my DM, like reach out to me. Like I don't be feeling like I be doing things to my highest potential because I be knowing I could do certain other things. But like I just be having to break out of certain ways and mm-hmm. things that I do and stuff like that. But I I feel like, you know, I'm always going to be like, this lit. Like, I don't think, like, <laughs> it could be no different with me. Like, yeah. Like, I just don't think so. So, like you said, you know, you ain't being nobody's wife. You ain't having no kids. And you get into this bag. And you're going to keep talking about it, sis. So that shit get to like 10 S's. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep making a new page every time they meet me. <laughs> yo, listen, man. That Connie Mac interview, they wanted it so bad, yo. And I'm glad you gave it to them. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Jen said she wasn't even gonna do my interview. She said I was getting on her goddamn nerves. Yeah, I told her, like, it's. Jen, yeah. she actually called me and asked me about you. She's like, who, like, what's up with the girl? Like, I don't want her to be messy. I'm like, she's not, she not even no, that type of person. Yeah. Like, she, I was like, she don't even really know what's going on. Uh-huh. Like, so she not really, like, she just probably want, you know, her little platform. Yeah. You know? I did tell her, because she kept asking me. She was mm-hmm. like, yeah, she um keep asking me to the interview. I kind of, you know, pushed her towards it, like, just oh, go yeah. ahead. Like, I told her, like, yo, I said, Connie was the first person I asked, like, you was the first person I wanted to know. The first person on my list, first person I asked. And I'm like, damn. At first I was like, I didn't even think I was going to get it. I know you get a lot of like DMs and promos and all that shit. So when you respond back, I'm like, oh shit, bet. But like, you know, you, we just couldn't catch up. You was going out to, you know, out of state. And we just, yeah, you know I mean, so here today, I'm loving it. Love the conversation. Thank you for just, you know, getting deep into it. I didn't even know about, you know, your mom. I'm sorry to hear that. I couldn't even, like, you know, just imagine it. Hopefully, next time when I see you, we sit down. And- it's another thing that I wanted to clear up that I be hearing about me. Like, for some reason, people don't think I got, I'm educated or I got an education or something. Mm-hmm. I be seeing people come on, like, uh, get a high school diploma when I got, like, two college degrees. <laughs> For real? Yeah. And school? I don't be one. I went to school for creative writing. Uh-huh. And I actually graduated school early, so I had with the hair school. Because uh-huh. I was out of high school at 16, and I was just doing nothing. So yeah. I went to hair school. So I'm actually cosmetology licensed, too. Yeah. But I went to college. And I took my SATs. I got my diploma early. Like, a lot of people say, like, I ain't got a diploma or it is online. I see, like, when people try to argue with me, yeah. they be like, well, you do you got any degrees? Like, I sure do. Like, you don't ever think to, like, how do you be going posting? You ever think to post that, you know, that? Or they don't need, they don't need Did to Did I post it before? Yeah, I posted, yeah. like, things. Like, a lot of people know, I'm on, like, yeah. book covers and stuff like that. Like, uh-huh. little urban novels. Yeah. Like, I probably posted them before, but, like, 
I don't be thinking about that type of stuff. Or yeah. Whatever like that. Like, I used to play basketball. I got, like, trophies. I can't <laughs> you ball. Play like, ball. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you can ask, you can ask some of the people in my family, like, I used to play ball, basketball. Or something. Yeah. What else they, what else they say? Uh, oh, oh, another thing they said something about. I seen, what was the last comment? You got two kids and you on Section 8. I don't have no <laughs> That's what I And I've never been on Section 8. I never got anything welfare oriented to me. Like, I don't even get food stamps. Yeah, it's crazy. Not that I can't. Like, I yeah. want some food stamps. But I just don't even, like, I just never got a chance to, like, go yeah. and do it. I actually told somebody else recently, like, mm-hmm. I want to go get some food stamps. I was like, what do I do? Like, and they were telling me what to go do. Yeah. I have met somebody that told me I ain't even got to go in the office because they got, they know somebody down here that will do it for me. Yeah. I'm kind of about to get some food stamps uh-huh. I ain't got to go in the office. So wait, let me ask you, what made you, like, this is, this is the last thing I know we got to go because you got, you got, you got, you know, you got to do your thing. But what keep you hustling? Because you know how in Philly, even with artists, like, they'll get a hot song and then they stop working. Then, or somebody might own something and then they, you know, before you know it, it's shut down. What keep you hustling? Like, Tony said she keep that. I, I'm I'm broke mentality. Although she might got a bag, you know you got other people that I don't just. I want to. I don't want to go back to certain things, and I don't want to have to do be in a position that I see other people in. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of things that happen around me, like that gives me motivation with certain things. Like mm-hmm. if I see somebody else going through something, like I gotta do something for I be in that position. Yeah, and I just don't want to be broke. I like money. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to be broke. Do you want to get up and get out? Like, like yeah, I, I like to be able to just do. See me, I'm, I'm, I'm just too hood. Like, <laughs> I don't be caring. Like, I can go certain. I always, I know how to adapt. Like, uh-huh. you could take me anywhere, and I know how to act and carry myself. But yeah. I'm a hood bitch. Like, I'm, I'm comfortable mm-hmm. in the hood. Like, I'm not scared. I'm not feeling like in danger. Yeah, I do. You do see shit like, damn, that, and it disgusts you and make you. But then, all the other stuff that made me, like, I feel like the hood made me, like, yeah. who I am, like, I'm not going to say I'm not everyone moving. If I had kids and stuff like that, of course, I want my kids to be raised differently. Because yeah. if your kid's not raised differently, you ain't do it right. Mm-hmm. So, if your kids got to come up different than you, so my kids can't come up in the hood, because I came up in the hood. You know what the whole diversity and inclusion thing, would you, would you raise your kid with, like, a, a woman or a woman family? Like oh no, my kids. Cody Mac, DJ Dior, nine to five for what? The interview, you dig? <laughs>